Multiplying complex numbers can be a nice and easy task if you remember that it's essentially like the process of multiplying out polynomials. When you multiply out polynomials, you want to make sure that every term in one gets multiplied by every term in the other one. And that's what we're essentially going to do with these complex numbers. So every uh, term here in my 9 plus 2i will be multiplied by every term in my 6 minus 3i. Uh, this particular problem is going to look a lot like FOIL. So let's get started. 9 times 6 will be my first terms, and that will give me a 54. And I'll take my 9 times a negative 3i, get a minus 27i. There's my outside terms. Now 2i times 6, or plus 12i. Now my last terms, 2i multiplied by a negative 3i, negative 6i squared. Now, of course, we want to run through this and simplify it as much as possible. So 54. Then I have a minus 27 and a plus 12. So we'll leave us with a minus 15i minus 6i squared. So it's looking pretty good. Now, here's where the change comes in with these guys uh, that you won't have with polynomials. When you have this 6i squared on the end, you can actually change that into something much nicer. The reason for this is because i is equal to a negative 1. That means if we're looking at an i squared, you know, square both sides, then this is simply equal to negative 1. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to swap out this i squared with a negative 1 and continue to combine terms. So minus 6, now multiplied by a negative 1. Or this is a positive 1, since a negative 6 times a negative 1, positive 6. Now I can finally combine that with my 54 out front, leaving me with 60 minus 15i. Alright, now my complex number is in standard form, and I know I'm done. So remember that it looks a lot like multiplying, uh, like polynomials. And in addition, you want to simplify any i-squareds that are present.